Hey guys, in this product showcase video, we'll be taking a closer look at the Morales spam detection feature. So spam is one of the biggest problems within Web3, especially when working with Web3 data. At one end of the scale, you have spammy NFT airdrops, which are similar to scam emails or spam emails you might receive in your email inbox. At the other end of the spectrum, you have the more sinister side, including scam coins, scam contracts, airdrop phishing attacks, which all seek to scam unsuspecting victims. The Morales API combat this in three ways. The first is ERC-20 spam detection. The second is NFT spam detection. And the third is spam detection across our entire transaction and transfer endpoints. We have a combination of automated rules that detect suspicious looking contracts as well as an internal team that reviews flag contracts submitted from our community. Factors such as checking contract compliance with its standards, minting transfer and airdropping activities, as well as things like imitation, marketplace listings and exchange presence are all factors taken into consideration. So to begin with, we'll be taking a look at ERC20 tokens. And for this demo, we'll be using this particular whale account. Whale accounts are good accounts to showcase the extent of spam because NFTs and tokens often get airdropped to these bigger accounts in an attempt to legitimize the project or simply use as like a cheap marketing tactic. If we check out the ERC20 tokens here, we can see they've been divided into legit tokens and spam or suspicious looking tokens. This list obviously includes copycats, duplicate tokens. Some of these are just URLs telling you to go to this website to collect some rewards, but it also includes tokens that at first glance might look legit, like these Uniswap V2 tokens. But when looking at the contract, it's clear that it's a honeypot or it's a scam and therefore it's been labeled as such. We're able to make this distinction quite easily because using the ERC20 token balances endpoint, we can see that every single token returned here has a possible spam flag. This is either true or false based on its spam classification. With this, you can then choose to hide these completely from your app or display them within your user's portfolio, but flag them as suspicious like we've done here. The second part to spam detection feature is NFT spam detection, which works in a very similar way. If you see here, we have the same sort of UI where at the top we have all of the verified blue tick collections. We've then got some regular collections and then towards the bottom, we have all of these spam contracts and there's tons of them. Similar to ERC20s by Wallet, our NFTs by wallet endpoint has the same possible spam property. Every NFT and collection will include this and it can be used to, in the same way, include them, but just mark them or alternatively exclude them altogether. These two endpoints also have an additional query parameter called exclude spam. And when this is set to true, these spam contracts won't even be returned in the API at all. Additionally, we have an endpoint that allows you to report new spam, co spam contracts to us or report in correct classification. So if we've labeled something that maybe isn't spam or we've not yet labeled a, a co contract or it slipped through the cracks, you can use this particular endpoint as a way to report these classifications to us. It takes in chain and then one or many contracts. Contract address, a reason, spam or not spam, and then if it's NFT or ERC20. This can be used yourself or you can actually integrate it like some of our customers do directly within your app. So for example, if we've marked this particular Elon AI token as spam, you could tell us it's not spam or the other option, you could report spam uh, on a, a new contract this way. This then comes through to our internal team to review and any updates will be reflected in an hour or so. The final part of our spam detection can be found on our transaction and transfer endpoints. 
And in the same way we have that possible spam flag for ERC20s and NFTs, the same flag is returned on all transfer endpoints. Every single transfer will have this possible flag, possible spam flag. This means you can build spam-free timelines or alert your users when they're interacting with possible spam contracts or receiving tokens from suspicious looking contracts like we have here. You can see there's three airdrops here, all coming from suspicious looking contracts. We've labeled them with this little warning sign here. You could choose to exclude them full stop, but this is available on all of our endpoints. So whether it's the swaps, transfers, airdrops, all of, the, all of these will, will come through with this particular flag. And that concludes this video on spam detection today. If you've enjoyed this video or you have questions about how to implement spam yourself or even ideas for the next product showcase, please leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.